Manchester, England, 1976. There was a young dock clerk named Marky e. Smith. He wrote weird stories and poems when he had a chance. And he listened to Patti Smith and The Seeds and Lou Reed and Can. He had a dream rock and roll could be given a new brain. Something raw and uncompromising and smart and strange. Mark and his friends bounced ideas off the wall. He was going to dress up and they were going to call themselves Fly Man and The Fall. And then they settled on just the fall after the French existentialist book. The Mark couldn't sing a note and didn't care how square he looked. The music was sort of punky and jazzy and had a bizarre lyrical vision. And Mark said the three R's are repetition, repetition, repetition. But he didn't get along with the punk scene at all. In fact, Mark didn't really even get along with most members of the fall. So began the underground legend of a strange and driven man who worked hard writing, touring, and recording, then would fire most of his band. Steve played bass for 20 years with the band whose sound he helped create, but even he left when Mark went to jail for punching his bandmates in 98. But all the constant new members, including Mark's wives and girlfriends, kept the sound from getting lame. And John Peel said they're his favorite band because they're always different but always the same. And even today there's fall fans, both old and young, who get immersed in a whole fall universe and get obsessed with everything they've done. And that's a lot after 26 years, 100 styles, and still going full steam ahead. No band at all has ever been quite like The Fall, except for The Grateful Dead. That's my documentary on The Fall.